And now as they go into turn number three, that right-hander, he still has the advantage over Chase Elliott. Wiggling that truck. Could be a little loose, could be looking for fuel. Continues to wiggle the truck as they go to turn four. Another left-hander right here, turn four. Ty Dillon is at the furthest point away from the start-finish line right now. Can he hang on and stay in front of Chase Elliott? Up the long and ready, straight away they go. Chase has a run on him. Here comes Elliott, looking to the inside. Side by side for the lead. Elliott has the advantage, but they're door to door as they go up looking into turn number eight. Elliott can slide up. Or excuse me, Dylan Dylan still has up. the inside line. He stays in front of the 94. Chase Elliott right on his back bumper. Through turn number nine, they go. Ty Dillon with the advantage. Elliott right on his back bumper. Look at the inside of 10. They make contact. Elliott spins the three. The three into the tires. And Chase Elliott trying to hang on. Across the stripe he'll go. Elliott wins in Canada. Chase Elliott in the 23. Takes the white flag. One lap to go at Martinsville. Look at this battle. I talked about confidence. He's got his hands full with Briscoe. That's 11th position they're raising for. Meanwhile, Elliott through three and coming off turn four. Chase Elliott is going to take home a grandfather clock with a win at Martinsville. Two laps away from victory, and his own teammate ended up having a problem to bring out the yellow, and ultimately... Elliott did not win. This is the final lap for Chase Elliott as he leads Kyle Busch. Elliott, a two-time winner in the truck series. His most recent victory, his most recent start back in Martinsville of 2017. Chase Elliott to finish the job. He has captured the bounty. Chase Elliott wins at Charlotte. Hell yeah. Good job, Brazil, bud. Nice job. One more lap in a mile and a half left to go Maybe for Chase Elliott to get his Man, first win. One more good lap. Leader is two plus seconds out back. Won a NASCAR Camping World Truck Series race last summer. Somewhat controversial circumstances surrounding the finish of that one. But what a bold outside pass on Kevin Harvick to take the lead in this one. And he's driven away with now a half a lap to go. Elliot, this is your first nationwide win. I want to see the best burnout you ever did. Chase yeah! Elliott wins with Texas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming to the white flag. Look at Chase Elliott on those new tires. Final lap at Darlington. Elliott to second. And Elliott Sadler, the race leader. Here comes Chase Elliott with a big run off two. He's going to do it again. Back-to-back -back wins. Chase Elliott wins in his first try at Darlington. The tricky Darlington Raceway a week later. They've had adversity lately, but they have bounced back today. All he has to do is bring it back to the checkered flag. You talk like that's an easy thing to do. As a driver, <laughs> that can be difficult at times. Yeah, and i got to give the crew a lot of credit here. You know, they pitted him early. They, they've had these fuel problems, but they've, they've kind of fixed that and made an adjustment on their strategy, it's going to pay off. Coming back from what could put a, a normal team or a normal guy down, Chase Elliott job, turns it man. around, Check he's going to win in yeah, Chicago on, yeah. He can come here and get the white flag, put together another lap, he's going to be the winner of this race. There it is, one to go, three quarters of a mile for the 19-year-old reigning series champion to break his winless streak. 39 races. It's going to come to an end here under the lights in Richmond. Fantastic performance. Didn't have it all his own way. But the reigning series champion keeps himself in contention. Chase Elliott wins in Richmond. Oh, yeah. oh.
White flag is in the air. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. And the next flag gonna end this one. The caution or the checkers can chase Elliott. Hang on, 11 races at Daytona, had a last lap pass for the win. It looks like more aggressive on the outside. Look, here comes Logano. He's to Elliott. Elliott goes up for the block. The Opens the door for Sadler down low. He's working the double yellow line as they head to turn three. Logano's not clear. Logano pushing him here. forward. When do you make the move if you're Joey Logano? You hop to the outside as soon as you can now. Last year's Daytona 500 winner. The man that will start on the pole tomorrow. Could there be contact? Chase Elliott. Wow. Dramatic finish at Daytona gets the checkered flag. <laughs> what a block by Chase Elliott. Can he hold him off, bud? I mean, I, I think as long as they stay like this, but if those two, three cars that are three wide back there, if they get two wide or even single file, and here we go, we see Kevin Harvick getting a big run here. It's going to be tough to hold him off. Wow, that was, that was a big move right there. That was important. That's that was half probably the a winning move. Another run's going to come before this race is over, though. He's got one more block. If he can make that happen, I think he'll win this race. Harvick's got Kozlowski to help in the two. McMurray alone and Whoa. one on the bottom. Oh, Harvick. Boy, boy I tell you, Keselowski cut Harvick some slack right there, boys. Yep. Yeah, he could have dove to the inside like we saw Denny yep. Hamlin do last year in the Daytona 500. Off turn four, chase from the same place as Awesome Bill from Dawsonville wins the Can-Am duel. Chase Elliott for Alan Gustafson. Still one inside, drafting the tie. White flag in the air, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Big push coming to the four from his teammate, Clint Boyer. Got to have a place to go with it. Got to have a place to go with that run. Didn't quite have enough. He got to the rear bumper of the nine of Chase Elliott, but not quite enough. I think everybody's holding on for dear life right here. I think they're going to have one more good shot at Chase Elliott. They got to get there, and they just don't seem to be able to get right up there close enough at this point. I think Chase stays right where he is. Force them to go around you. Short way around. We're going to get a run. Block hard here. Chase Elliott spotter. All over him behind you. Pushing him hard. Out of turn four. Elliott rules at Daytona. Chase Elliott covers the bottom and beats Kevin Harvick. The white flag in the air. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Seven turns. He just needs to do seven turns perfectly at Watkins Glen to grab his first career win. He goes wide through turn one. The 78 coming up. Closing the gap. Fans jumping up and down, yelling, screaming, losing their minds here at Watkins Glen. Can Elliott hang on? He's back to two car lengths in front of Truex as they leave the S's for the final time. Almost giving up the lead in turn one, but he's now got another comfortable lead as he breaks into the inner loop. Martin Truex charges hard, trying to gain that ground back. No mistakes by either driver here, but Chase Elliott, a cleaner corner. Now it's about four car lengths there through the carousel. Chase Elliott almost home free. Truex wide in the corner. He looks to be in great shape, but the mistake that he made in one again cannot be replicated here in turn six. Truex Bring is, is out of easier. fuel. Truex is out. Now Chase can just cruise the victory fuel. lane. His spotter Just lets him know. He got 15 out the back already. He's out of fuel. Chase Elliott comes out of turn number seven. The crowd roars. They're going to see for the first right time here. Chase Elliott win in the Monster Energy Cup Series. Yeah, baby, yeah. Elliott. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Chase Elliott looking for the white flag. One more time around at Dover. Lock that thing on the bottom. A hungry Denny Hamlin in the 11. He'll have one more shot down the back stretch. Can he close the gap enough? Chase Elliott looking for his second career win. Three and a half. Out of turn four. Chase Elliott's going to win at the Monster Mile. Hell yeah, baby. Around the car, yes. He's picked the pace up now as he works his way in front of the grandstand. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Chase Elliott.
the 22-year-old out of Dawsonville, Georgia, son of Hall of Famer Bill Elliott. Down the backstretch for the final time. Two wins already in 2018. The slide job by Kyle Larson behind him for second. Chase Elliott coming out of turn four. He's going to win again this time in Kansas. Is it? Trying to get away. Yet. Here they come. Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, Ryan Priest. Logano on the outside, oh, and Byron's Byron. around. He crashes. Caution oh, is out. Heavy, heavy oh, in impacted world. inside wall by the 42 of Larson. Man. Kyle Larson, Jeffrey Earnhardt with heavy damage, and William Byron Man. on the last lap. Well, that was really scary looking. That 42's floating through the air as he made in, uh, con um, impact to that inside wall. Well, these three Chevy drivers did as ordered, worked together. And with the checkered flag, Chase Elliott wow. has brought the Elliott name back to victory lane at Talladega. Coming up on one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Seven corners, two and a half miles. Chase Elliott must remain perfect. A smooth turn one, and then the most important climb, 54 feet up the S's, he must be perfect. This is for all the marbles here at Watkins Glen. The crowd and the S's have come to their feet. Chase Elliott up the hill for the final time this afternoon. Looks in the rear view mirror. Four plural lengths of separation. Chase Elliott leads the way up the back straightaway for the final time. Like he has time and time again, he has a decent lead on Truex coming into the braking zone here. What, if anything, can Truex do differently? He charges into this inner loop within a car length, a car length and a half. Can he maintain that on exit? Not so much. Back to three car lengths, he charges again into the carousel. There's just nothing he can do about how good this nine car is getting out of the corner. Chase Elliott has been perfect on these last 20-some laps. Just done a great job. Two more corners left. Don't overdrive. Six. Hit your marks. Truex trying to make ground on him. Chase Elliott driving away. Coming into turn seven, the final turn. The 23-year-old from Dawsonville got his first win at this racetrack and has been dominant today. He's going to win again at the Glen. Go, boys, let's go! To take the lead in the post -class. And Steve, I'm going to tell everybody listening, during the commercial break, you looked over here and said, Chase Elliott still wins this race. We all said you were crazy. You were right. That car looked so good through traffic racing. Chase Elliott. Out of turn four, he'll make the last chicane. And Chase Elliott put on a dominating performance today. He'll win at the Charlotte Roble. Let's go! Let's go! White flag waves. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Can you hold your breath for 30 seconds? You might have to. <laughs> the second place, Denny Hamlin. Takes it to Ryan Blaney. Hamlin now 2.4 seconds back. Couple more corners and Timmy Hill ahead for Chase Elliott. Yeah, buddy. We did it, boys. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Drive off. He's burying it in all the braking zones. And Danny Hamlin is close enough. If the 9 makes a mistake, he will be there. Big arc by the 11, trying to get to the bottom of this corner. Have a straight drive off. And he's really wide right there. Doesn't really lose a lot, but he's pushing as hard as he can. Yeah, he's just searching, trying to find something different. Trying to find some speed somewhere. You see Truex underneath Johnson behind him. There's a car in front of these two. Will that affect Chase Elliott the line that he chooses it's all going to be where they catch that car is it in a bad spot or does he have find way by without an issue oh that is a bad spot to get by him you hope he just Quint pulls over yeah there he pulls go. over Quinn House going to pull over, get out of the way of this battle for the lead we've seen a lot of issues in turn six today very tough braking the nine does a nice job will he get a good acceleration off there you go Rick two more chicanes to the start finish line Andy with a much lower exit, but that nine car just really got out of turn six so much better. Able to put a good distance there. 
Chase is going to look in the mirror and feel like, man, all right. Got a little more comfort, comfort there between me and the 11. Yeah, clearly, Chase Elliott is a little bit quicker. But how about Denny Hamlin? Every week, it seems, we see him battling for the win. Man, Denny drove it in there. <laughs> he did. Way he made it work. Going to get deep on this exit, but Denny Hamlin with a big surge there into, turn, into the rear chicane. Earlier, we heard Mario Andretti talk about history and making history. It was a historic event today. The Cup Series running on the road course at Daytona for the first time ever. A big challenge out of Denny Hamlin here one last time. But trying to make history, the nine of Chase Elliott, three road course wins in a row. He's going to win at Daytona. That is your checkered flag moment brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. White flag, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. You know Kyle Busch is going to pull everything out of it he possibly can. Maybe bobbled a little bit there off of two. He cut it down by a tenth, but not enough. Here we go, boys. Chase Elliott yes, gets his sir, first yes, sir. Super proud of you guys. infield part of the course now. Yeah, I was mentioning, Rick, those five playoff points will give him the fourth most. So, so this win can help him in the next round, can help his path to the championship for Phoenix. And that now is the goal for everyone. Everyone that's in the top eight in points now. They're looking forward to the championship four. How do they get there? What do they do in the next three races? They've got Kansas, Texas, Martinsville in front of them to try to get to Phoenix. Momentum is also a very big thing in racing. And when you come off of something like what we're seeing Chase Elliott do, it has to give him a nod as far as momentum on his side. He has the best average running position of everybody in the playoffs, Rick, so he is the hottest driver in the playoffs right now. One of the youngest. Four road course wins in a row. Chase Elliott's going to do it again at the Roval. Chase Elliott through three and four. He is going to win his way into the championship four. Elliott wins it. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. One more time around, one mile away from a championship for Chase Elliott. He goes down the backstretch for the final time. The 24-year-old from Dawsonville, Georgia, is about to join his father, Dawsonville, in elite company. Chase Elliott is a NASCAR Cup Series champion. With 14 laps to go, NASCAR has brought out the caution flag for an abundance of standing water, bringing the field down pit road and to a stop. This will be a red flag for rain. There is Chase Elliott, and he is the winner of the Echo Park Texas Grand Prix. Due to inclement weather, the race has been called with 14 to go. Now, Bill Elliott was right. Yeah, he was. And Chase Elliott wins. Up the hill he goes. And now, one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Chase Elliott has almost a six second lead over Christopher Bell, running second. A fan favorite for quite a few nine, years nine, now. Six, Chase eight, Elliott eight, has nine, become. Nine, won a championship a year ago, trying to defend that title. Look at the numbers that he has put up, especially on road courses. Jeff Gordon, nine, the most of all time. Tony Stewart, eight. And Chase Elliott right now 
at six, tied with Bobby Allison, Richard Petty, Ricky Rudd, and Rusty Wallace. And shame on me, Rick, when I saw the odds come out at the beginning of the week and all the talk, everybody had Chase Elliott the favorite, and I don't know, you know, he hadn't been here in a while, doesn't have the experience of other drivers, didn't show up great in the practice lap times, but Dale Jr. called it. He said, give these Cup veterans time on during this race, and they will figure a way. Chase started way in the back, and he's worked his way all the way to the front. Dave Byrne mentioned as we're listening to Chase Elliott, the way he works his way around this racetrack. Dave mentioned rhythm. That's what Chase was talking about. He wanted to find that rhythm as he works his way through the carousel for the final time. Going to his home track next weekend, Atlanta Motor Speedway. How careful he's taking it, not touching the curbs, not even really using the maximum amount on corner exit. Six and a half second lead. Now it's do not make a mistake. That's right. And we said that before his very first win. Remember when he went into turn one at Watkins Glen, he made a mistake and let the car behind him catch up to him. But I think he's learned his lesson as well as figured out his rhythm here at this racetrack. Coming up to turn 14 for the final time, and the crowd here at Road America appreciative of what they have been able to see out of the reigning champion of the Cup Series. It's the seventh road course win. Chase Elliott wins at Road America. For Chase Elliott to become the fourth and final Hendrick driver to visit Victory Lane this season. Was fastest in practice. Once that nine car got in the lead, proved to be the fastest okay, in the race as well. Kyle Busch led the most laps today, 103. But Chase Elliott and his Hendrick Motorsports Camaro gonna lead the last one. Yeah, boys. Check out, check a flag. Caution, checker. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Chase Elliott down the back stretch for the final time. A huge lead over Kurt Busch, running in second. Looking for his second win of the 2022 season. He'll get it at Nashville Super Speedway. Chase Elliott wins. Go, baby. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. LaJoy, loose behind the nine. Now he goes to the high side. All the way up into the wall goes LaJoy. He's going to spin around. Oh, He'll collect the field. On, Caution will come out, and it looks as though the nine of Chase Elliott is going to be scored the winner. Chase Elliott will join his father as the only Georgia born driver now two of them to win at atlanta motor speedway chase elliott was declared the winner at pocono after both denny hamlin and kyle bush were disqualified in post-race inspection the win is elliott's fourth of the season big rush yeah big big push from eric jones got to him and actually hit him hard one lap to go presented by credit one bank side by side for the lead where will the momentum come they're door to door as they go through one and two. Down the back stretch for the final time. Chase Elliott now nosing ahead. Here comes Blaney fighting back on the inside. The shorter distance around the track. A big push from Michael McDowell in the 34. Elliott with the help of Jones. He searches 